is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we have another wwe elite series review and it is on the brand new elite 83 sasha banks and drew mcintyre figures really excited to dive into these i feel like we have seen an image or a proto render image of this sasha banks for like months upon years and it's been a long time bro anybody that saw the render image of this knows it was a very long time ago we didn't know if we'd ever get it it started out as like a ringside exclusive and then it changed and then it changed again and then it changed again and now finally we have it in our possessions and I'm super excited to get into it. We also have an updated Drew McIntyre right here which I'm also pretty excited to see how he compares to his other figures and all of that ish but getting into it guys you have your front viewing window here an image of the two there on the back you get some bio reads as well as the rest of the figures in the wave. We only have five this time due to somebody getting dropped from the line. I believe it was supposed to be Velveteen Dream. You have the images on the back of the packaging. You also have the same images on the side of the packaging there but that pretty much does it for Sasha Banks and Drew McIntyre. Guys if you'd like to grab these you can do that over at ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com go over there get in on their holiday sale as well as all the good things guys spend that christmas money use promo code md toys to save yourselves some additional 10 percent over there and get in on all that but with that being said guys let's crack elite 83 sasha banks and drew mcintyre out of their packaging what you got? All right, guys, so here's Drew McIntyre and Sasha Banks out of the packaging. Liking what I've got going on so far. A bit of new things going on with these that I'm pretty excited about to show off with you guys and dive into these figures to see what these guys are all about, if they're worth the pickup. Are they worth, you know, grabbing them over their former figures or their previous figures? But let's just shut the hell up and dive into it, guys. Let's start off with Drew McIntyre's accessories and Drew McIntyre and his comparisons. Then we'll run it back, take a look at the boss, the boss's accessories, and then the boss comparisons. I still find it weird that we only have five figures in this in this set. It's kind of bothering me a little bit. You couldn't just throw a figure in there? You couldn't just throw a figure in there. Off to the champion's accessories. So for Drew Mackers, Drew Mackers? For Drew Mackers accessories, for Drew McIntyre's accessories, guys, he does come with his entrance vest. This is what, his third or fourth elite now that comes with the entrance vest? It may just be his second. I think it's his third, though. He had the NXT, the Elite 70, then this one, and then, of course, he had his top talents figures or whatever. I don't know if that came with the, with the vest. I feel like it did, but it's got a lot of good detail going on right here. This is new. It's got the buckles and the studs and the chains and the belts and the loops and all that stuff. It is a vest, so it will be, you know, you can pose Drew around when he is wearing this. It's got a lot of great details. I think it's painted nicely and everything, but it is a rubber accessory and everything, which makes sense. You know, it's not going to hinder articulation for the most part, so that's good. It is a soft rubber material. We've seen it before. It looks really good. Outside of that, you just get Claymore hands, really, and I just dropped it on the ground, and I bet it's gone forever, but seriously, though, you do only get the, uh, you get the Claymore more hands. And we've seen these before. I I mean, it's the thigh slap hand for the Claymore or the throne sitting hands. Now, people yesterday in our video of Trash Corbin, they tried to tell me that the, you know, the, the Finn Balor hands like this were supposed to be throne sitting hands, but to me, these are throne sitting hands. Like, when you're sitting on a throne, you're sitting relaxed like this. You're not gripping the shit out of the damn thing like this. So, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could, but I don't know. I feel like this is a more relaxed, you know, if you're sitting there grasping the shit out of your throne, what are you doing, Brad? Just relax. You're a king, you know? Just just relax like this. So there you go. But that pretty much does it for Drew's accessories outside of his mic holding hands, guys. So let's dive into the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre. So getting into Drew McIntyre, guys, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, I will say this angle makes him look like a damn demon or something. You can't even see his eye color, really. But if you lean it back, you'll notice that the eyes are there, and the likeness is super there. Like, at first I thought he looked like a witch in the render image. He kind of looked a bit off. But I'm actually digging this. The only thing I don't really dig about this head sculpt is the same Drew McIntyre thing they always do where they give him this little neck skin under the ear. Just looks a bit off. But one thing you'll notice about this figure immediately when you get it is that they gave him a new skin tone. It looks like they gave him the Seth Rollins skin tone instead of like the Finn Balor Daniel Bryan skin tone, which I think does make the figure look better. I like this head sculpt for Drew, the smiley head sculpt. It is different from the same one we've seen 10 trillion times. You know, with the NXT figure, it was basically the same as the Elite 70, the top talents, the Survivor Series. So getting this new one is really nice. Chest looks good. I like this torso for Drew. I used to think it was a little too big, but Drew's a mountain of a man, six foot five, two sixty five. I give him even six six. Dude is absolutely jacked, and so this looks good for me. Good arms on there. My favorite Drew McIntyre elite to date, I think, because these trunks are bad as hell, Brad. You guys will see here. You have the swords on the sides here, so the crossing swords here in the red and silver, and then on the back. Look how clean and sick as shit this decal is. You have the dagger or the sword with the circle and the Brock Lesnar skull. This is from the WrestleMania 36 WWE Championship matchup, so that is just golden, man. I freaking love that. I think it looks fantastic. I love, like, these trunks are sick as 
of shit with the skin tone of the Drew McIntyre and everything. This is a really good Drew McIntyre. This is the best one to me. To me. In me, in my opinion, this is the best Drew McIntyre. If you want to head swap it, the skin tones probably won't match, but black wrist tape, black knee pads, black boots. It's your typical Drew McIntyre, but it is the best attire, in my own personal opinion, to date for Drew McIntyre. It does not have a loosey-goosey waist. Actually, the waist isn't even swiveling. There it goes. So it had a little had a little trouble, but it's there, and it's tight. So that's that's good and nice to see. But that does it for Drew McIntyre, guys. Let's dive into the boss's excess. Psych, psych, psych. We got to do our comparisons of Drew football. So for your Drew McIntyre Elite figure comparisons, guys, you will see the Survivor Series figure over here, the Elite 70 slash Top Talents, and then you have the new one, and the new skin tone looks great. I don't know if you guys are noticing it, but Drew McIntyre looks a lot better in this darker skin tone, this more tan skin tone. He's not as, like, pale and yellowy as this. It looks really good. I like the way this figure looks. I like the head sculpt a lot. I think this is the best one. Again, they're pretty much all the same, but I would say this one is, you know, head and shoulders above the rest, to be honest with you. But he is smiling. You may want to piss off Drew. If this was like a serious face, Drew, sign me up all damn day, Brad, but that does it for your McIntyre Elite Figure comparisons. And then if you guys wanted to see what the WWE Championship looks like on this fool, here you go right here, Brad. WWE Championship on the on the WWE Champion, and there you go. Looks pretty damn good to me, Brad. I think it looks badassery. There is the Scottish Psychopath. Alright, guys, so diving into Sasha Banks' accessories, let's dive into the main one, right? The one that comes on the package is this jacket. So, what they've done with this is they pretty much did the Elite 73 Kyrie Sane technology where you can remove the sleeves right here at the elbow. It kind of like detaches right here and that way you could actually pose around the arm and get the jacket on easier. So you guys can see here, here's the articulation right there and the arm moves inside the jacket. So you get a little bit of articulation inside the jacket. So you guys know that we always complain about the jackets hindering the articulation. You can't even move the John Brown thing. Well, they, they've added it where you can't actually do some of her poses here, but getting the jacket off of the figure I have found is pretty damn difficult. I will say that right now because you can't slide the shoulders back and it like, Jesus, I don't even know if I can get it on camera because I'm going to have to like tweak the figure a little bit right here. Alright, so I found the best way to do it is to spin the arm like this and then come back with it but it's still pretty difficult. Like, it's not the easiest thing to do in the universe. Damn, man. There's probably an easier way to do it. I'm just blowing it. Alright, I mercifully got the jacket off. I'll never put it back on again. About damn ripped her arms out of socket. Nonetheless, out of the packaging, guys, she does have like her, her nucks, her brass nuck hands, or her posing hands. You guys know she comes with these out of the packaging, like mocking package. She's using these. You guys know that she does come with her legit boss little nucks here, and oh my god, that's gone forever. There's no way I'm finding that. Are you shitting me, Brad? So be very careful. Anyways, you got the boss side. So you take this, and you slide it on the hand, like so. And you guys see there, it says boss. It really doesn't even go on there that well. Maybe it has to go up higher. I, mm, mm. Yeah, it really doesn't even go on the hand that well, to be honest with you. Yeah, that that's not very good. And then the other side, because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to read it left or right, correct? Because wouldn't you wear it like this so you could read legit boss on the other side? Let's try it the other way just to make sure. I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling that. But you guys can see how that goes right there. And then she does have her boss glasses here with the money dollar signs. And if you guys want to put the glasses in there, it is in her blue attire, her blue, black, and white attire, which I really like, and her blue hair, which looks good as well, which we'll cover in the next segment of the video. But plugging the glasses in in. I guess they fit decent. They don't go all the way on the head like I would probably like, but they're, you know, they're decent. They don't, like, attach to the head. I mean, if you push on them a little bit, they're in there pretty good, but they just kind of protrude a little bit. But overall, you know, not bad at all. But that pretty much does it for Sasha's accessories, guys. I mean, this legit boss jacket looks really good. I like it. I would just rather have cloth, man. I know they got the added articulation in there and stuff, but it's a nightmare to come off, and it does have a lot of details and colors and stuff. It's just not my favorite. So you got legit boss on the back and the stuff, and yeah, it looks move on to Sasha Banks herself. So getting into Sasha herself, guys, I think this head sculpt's alright. I don't think they've ever nailed her likeness that much. I feel like it's always slightly off, but I do like the blue hair color. I've always loved the blue hair Sasha. This attire is super fire. That rhymed unintentional. But the head sculpt's pretty good. I feel like if you added eye makeup on the eyes, like, you know, the eye, what would you call it? Damn, my, my mind's going blank. Not the eyelashes, obviously, but the, and it's not the eyebrow. It's your eyelids. God dang. If you added some makeup or some color to the eyelids, I feel like it would make it look better, but the blue, black, and white looks good. Her same sleeve design going down in the white. I like what we got going on right there. I believe this is our first ever Sasha with double jointed knees. I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure it is, but I like the attire. I like all the stuff going on. You got the Sasha Banks on the butt with the A logo. I like that. I think all of this looks good and everything like that. You got the upper thigh cut. You do get double jointed knees, which is always a plus. Still no ankle
ankle pivot, but I do like the legit boss on the kick pads with the white and blue flames going up the back of the knee pads. Overall, really good Sasha Banks figure, man. I really enjoy it. I just don't like the accessories that much, but this is probably the best Sasha to date up next to her WrestleMania 35 figure. So for your Sasha Bank Elite figure comparisons, guys, here's the new Elite 83 up next to the WrestleMania 35, and I honestly think this has better likeness to her. I don't know. It may be tripping, but I like both these Sashas. They're pretty much identical. You got the blue hair and the pink hair. They look nice. I like them. Again, I do think this is the first double knee Sasha, so that's nice to see. I think this is single jointed right here, so you love to see that. We just need ankle pivot on our women's figures and better leg, not leg, but better boot and foot rotation, better boot and foot articulation. I think these figures will go over the top, but not only do you have the Elite 83 up next to the WrestleMania 35, here's the new Elite 83 up next to some of our other great women's figures or, you know, double jointed nice looking. I think this Asuka. Anyway, it's the, it's the network spotlight, but there you go. Sasha up next to Bailey and also up next to Charlotte's Ultimate Edition figure. I wouldn't be shocked if one day we got a Sasha Banks in the Ultimate Edition line with a nice jacket and everything. Maybe a couple colorful, interchangeable head sculpts, smiling, a pissed off. Maybe, I don't know. There's a lot of things they could do with Sasha Banks and her jacket and stuff, but that pretty much does it for your Sasha Banks Elite Figure Comparisons. But that is pretty much, I think, going to do it for the 2-in-1 Elite Series 83 Drew McIntyre and Sasha Banks review. Guys, overall thoughts on the figures. I still do believe these are the best versions of the two female and male athletes right here, man. Drew McIntyre and Sasha Banks, this is their best figures. I think it is their best figures regardless of a couple things. You know, Drew McIntyre is head sculpts. You know, it's not a serious head sculpt, but he's still, I still, it's, you know, it's a little bit different. I think the likeness is still really there. I love the attire. I love the skin tone change. I really, really like the figure a lot. You don't get the championship, but I think everyone and their mom has a WWE title at this point. Sasha Banks is still the best Sasha Banks. I think the double jointed knees are worth it. The attire is really clean. You got the SmackDown attire going for. So that is what's fire. I think I think both of these are definitely worth the pickup, guys. If you want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I think it would definitely be worth it. You save that extra money right there. Definitely go grab these if you are interested. I'm actually kind of blown away by both of these. I'm not, I wasn't that excited going into the review, but after getting the figures in hand and looking closely at them, I was pretty shocked by my findings here today. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out again. If you want to shout out in a future video, like, subscribe, and comment. Turn on the bell, and you could earn yourself a shout out in a future video. You got Gabe Brophy here. He says, if you watch MDT, then you need to ask yourself if you really are deep down a Trash Corbin fan, and here's our answers. Hell no, because everyone knows what trash is, and that's Trash Corbin, Brad. But a huge shout out to Gabe. I like that comment. thought that was great. If you guys missed out on the Elite 83 review of Edge and Trash Corbin yesterday, definitely go check that out, guys. But I'm getting out of here. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. Let me know your thoughts on both of these figures down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line I've been